A Westside family says they're unable to get their dog, Kobe, back after he ran away earlier this month because another family quickly adopted him. They shared their frustration with CBS 2's Tim McNicholas. You will still find lost dog flyers for 10 year old Kobe around this Austin neighborhood. He just disappeared a few weeks ago, but animal care workers say he already legally belongs to someone else. Then he would lay, he probably would lay right here and look at us. The Moses family's yard is a little quieter than usual. You don't hear Kobe's bark because he ran off July 5th. Samira Moses and her son say the dog was scared of the fireworks. It's like you're losing a child. I just hope that we get our dog back so we could just go back to being the happy family that we were. A neighborhood search showed no signs of Kobe, so Samira's husband checked Chicago Animal Care and Control the next morning. Kobe was not there, but officers did find the dog later that day and brought him to animal care. It's not clear whether animal control knew it was the Moses family's missing dog. Kobe was not microchipped and did not have dog tags. We're really, really beating ourselves up about that. Animal control posted Kobe's picture online and held him for three days, then transferred him to a rescue group called Fetching Tales Foundation on July 9th. Fetching Tales says they neutered him, microchipped him, treated an ear infection, and then after a week with Fetching Tales, animal care workers say Kobe was legally adopted by another family. Meanwhile, the Moses family was still looking for him. They heard last week that Fetching Tales had him and reached out, but Samira was told the owners did not want to give Kobe back. Okay, my dog has been missing less than 30 days. I know where he is. He should come home. It really should be that simple. The Moses family says they had Kobe since he was just a few months old, and this is the first time he's gotten away. They're hoping to at least set up a meeting with the new owners of the dog. In Austin, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News.